in three tenths of a mile, make a right turn. Homer, listen to the GPS. Turn right the road. onto First this Street. Road, the other Head road. east. Ladies, please, you can boss me around just one at a time. Hey, Simpson, I dare you to stick this caterpillar down that girl's dress. Can't I just stick it in Skinner's Sloppy Joe? It would actually be the only me didn't, said Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that sticking a fuzzy wuzzy down my back? Mary Spuckler. Lady. Did you miss me? <laughs> Get out of my face, cootie breath. I did miss you. You stink. <gasps> Mary? <laughs> Thank God I wore the underwear with the hole on the side. <laughs> Rain is so romantic, don't you think? You get the picture. Perfect girl. Doctors Without Borders, you're now Doctors Without Faces. <laughs> Bart, when are we gonna do girl thing? Mary, could I steal Bart for a minute? Ask his girlfriend, the game. Bart, I do know this. You will not do better than Mary Spuckler, so don't ignore her for a stupid video game. Dinner time! <laughs> Now let's enjoy the granola bars that city fella gave us in exchange for letting him go. That'll teach him to try to preserve our folk singing for posterity. A lot of musical talent in this house, but no one blows on a blade of grass like you. Tell your eye ears to watch, listen to this. I used to think I wanted to roam. But there ain't not, never no place, none better than home. Well, you're gonna win, cause you've got star quality. Like the Hulk in movies other than the Hulk. You know what? Every now and then, you say the perfect thing. And then I ran right home to you. You did everything great, Bart. Then you told me all about it like a true gentleman. I can't wait to use your moves on Lisa. Ew. Listen to your sister, boy. What I'm saying applies to you too, Dad. What are you talking about? Marge and I are going great. Homer Simpson, did you take Maggie to Moe's? How could something that applies to Bart apply to me? I'm so much older and wiser. More like balder and wider. Why, you little... <laughs> I'll teach you to say something! Thank you, last contestant. Tomorrow we will feature the no longer racist country comedy of Barry the Satellite TV Guy. Isn't it funny how all people are of equal worth? And now, the winner is... Devin Peacock! I can finally get my suspenders buckled. All I care is what you think, Bart. Compliment her. I don't know what she wants. What would my hero say? Slash your face now, Bart. Slash! Excuse me, I am a Brazilian record producer. I concentrate in the rapidly growing jug band Samba Fusion market. Oh my god! Do you know Billy Babalu, Skater Rodriguez? You wanna come with us? I need you. Mary, we've just been through three hours of music. Usually I only have music one hour a week, and the teacher spends it reading real estate listings for Fire Island. I'll see you later, Bart. Melvis? Where's Mary? I brought you regrets from my sister. She has been deavoidably untamed. But if you want one more shot, I know a date that'll turn this mighty Aphrodite into your purple rose of Cairo. <laughs> Those are movies I made. <laughs> Everyone's fast asleep. It's like my second wedding night, except more walkouts and there were no refunds. <laughs> Bart, I think it's best if we take a break. Good idea. I can chuck eggs at the other couples. Just hug me, dummy. You'll be fine. There's a pot for every possum. Give me another chance. I'll be way more attentive to your needs on the seesaw. Well, I'll stay down there for as long as you want. Sorry, Bart. I'm a hillbilly girl of 13. Aw, oh, sweetie. I told you this would happen if you dated outside the family. Mm -mm -mm. Move along. Relationship's over. You should know that me saying I don't care means I couldn't care more. I am sick and tired of trying to decode you like you're some kind of human being separate from myself. All right, fine. If you boys want it, I'll tell you what I really think. Finally, we're getting somewhere. So this is where you go when Mom kicks you out? You're saying it like it happens all the time. 
And by the way, the paint's a little faded on my parking spot. Um, I've got to make a phone call. Yeah, knock yourself out. Go! <laughs> oh! Not again! Mary, how are you handling taking a break? Great! Turns out Adele was right. Ain't nothing better for songwriting than when your relationship takes a bolt to the brain. Can't believe I liked him. I must have been blind. He wasn't so smart or handsome or kind. My eyes are wide open. Now I see his wards. I wish him well down in hell where he'll eat his own shore. Ooh. It's so great here. No wife to get mad at you for closing your laptop whenever they walk into the room. Who's got a rockin' CD? I've got the audiobook of Robert Carroll's The Passage of Power. That's it? First of them, just behind the cockpit, women sat weeping and Secret Service agents were trying to hold back tears. You've heard of strong men crying? Well, we had it there that day, recalls. The same way Hollywood does, by watching British movies. need to make a grand romantic gesture. Here, here! After we finish watching the movie. Hmm, cursive. You were invited to a grand gesture? Ooh. I wrote this song to say I'm sorry. Dad, don't be a credit hog. The melody is by Beethoven. Not bad for a movie dog. All I ask is one more chance. My friend, welcome to my story. Love, what is it? What does it mean? How do you spell it? No one knows. Fortunately, there is a cure. Any video game ever made. Married? Mm. Huh?